this quick tutorial is going to run you through all the basic flow that's involved in using Armorsmith Designer. The first thing we'll cover is importing a file. This is how you bring in a model that you would like to scale or unfold. There are a few different ways you can do this. You can select File, Import from the main menu, or you can click the Import button on the right in the Workspace window. You'll be prompted to select the model you'd like to import. Armorsmith supports OBJ, STL, and PDO files. You can either select a single model, or you can select multiple models. This can be useful if you have a model broken up into multiple parts, as you can bring it in as a group of connected parts, or you can leave them as individual pieces. Here, we're bringing in the piece of a helmet and naming that group Helmet. Once you have your pieces, you can attach it to the model by selecting Attach and then selecting where on the model you would like to attach it to. From here, you can translate, rotate, or scale the model, which we'll cover in a future video. If you can't find a file you need, try the Search Online feature. Simply type in what you're looking for and hit Search. Select the file you want by hitting the download button and it will show up in your workspace. You can also delete files if you don't want them in your workspace. Simply highlight the file you don't want in the workspace anymore and press the delete button. When you're ready, you can save your costume. This saves out all the models as well as their scale and where they're attached to the model. It doesn't save out your avatar. That needs to be saved separately. Now, once your models are ready to be exported, if you're 3D printing, right click on the 3D model or group and choose export. If it's a group of models, you'll be presented with the option of which model you would like to export. Now, if you're going to be printing out the patterns for building them out of paper or foam, you can select the Pattern tab uh, to make sure you're happy with the orientation of your patterns. We'll go more in depth into uh, the creation and editing of patterns in a future video. When you're ready, uh, choose File and then Print. And this will print out the uh, different pages. If you need to print out the patterns out of print shop, you can choose to print to JPEG to save out the prints as a series of images. That's it for this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like the video and give us a like. Keep an eye out for the next video in the series where we'll cover camera controls. Link for purchasing Armorsmith in the description.